is up everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today we will be reacting to what is an hra drag racing as a couple of you have requested i react to this video i did the one video uh i think it was called like nhra fire breathing monsters and i've been wanting to find more videos um on nhra because i want to watch and react to some more so um it's good that a lot of you requested i react to this one so we're gonna get straight into it but before we do that make sure you subscribe over half of you that are watching my videos still aren't subscribed just hit the bell it takes two seconds and if you'd like to become a member of my channel and receive exclusive perks you can also do that by hitting the join button down below right let's go i didn't even know that this sort of thing existed and then watching the other video was so mind blowing. Actually, I think I've done like a um, top speed moments as we well on my channel. We tear the engine apart and rebuild it this. in about 30 minutes, burn about um, 15 gallons of fuel on yeah. a single run, which is only about 3.7 seconds. That was seconds. crazy. It's the uh, fastest accelerating vehicle on land, and uh, they're badass. These mm. are 10, 12,000 horsepower cars. When we launch, it's about 5 Gs. Uh, when we hit our parachutes down at the top end, it's negative Gs. People in the stands think, well, what? you're just going straight. If you're standing back of these cars, it's not just going straight. It's driving all over the place, and it's a struggle, and they're beasts. Yeah, people have said that, like, the noise and, like, the feeling that you get when you're actually there is insane. NHRA stands for National Hot Rod Association. There's a number of different categories. In the funny car category, we go zero to a thousand feet in under four seconds at over 330 miles an hour. What? Side by side racing, 330 miles per hour, 10,000 horsepower, less than four seconds. Um, it's, there's nothing like it. Uh, the big difference between a funny car and top fuel is obviously the chassis. We're heavier, we carry a, we have to move more air just because right. of the body that goes over the car. Drive line, engine components are basically the same thing. It's the application's a little bit different. Actually, I've driven, I've had the opportunity to drive both a top fuel car and a funny car. I got licensed in a funny car last season, and they are, I'll tell you, two different animals. I mean, in a funny car, the wheelbase is so much shorter, so you're steering the thing like no other all the way down the racetrack just to keep it straight in the groove, whereas in a top field drive, wow. you don't have to do that as much. Also, with a funny car, the engine is right in front of you, so when it blows up, that explosion is in your lap, which is why I like a top field car. It happens behind me, and I don't know how bad it is until uh, the end of a run. When yeah, I was a kid, top field no was thanks. always <laughs> the king of the sport, and I, I remember that since I was a little kid, um, just because they are faster, they're quicker, and that's why I love driving them. If you stand behind the thing while it's running, the fumes will make you cry, they'll make you cough, choke. It's uh, really incredible wow. what, the, what these things do. To explain nitromethane is a little bit difficult. It's the fuel we burn. It's a very controlled fuel. It's a very dangerous fuel. It's what it makes a lot of power. Um, it's controlled by Homeland Security. Senses, when these cars warm up in the pits, fans love getting the, the sensory of it and uh, the breeze. It makes your eyes tear, your nose starts flowing juices, and can't hardly see it's just That's unreal crazy if you get too much of it you won't be able to breathe yeah we put on gas masks to uh, make sure we can breathe and see uh, it what this is so mind-blowing to me eyes water, so uh, to be able to see everything that we're doing in the warm-up and make sure we're not missing anything we wear our gas masks unveiling like all of these different motorsports with this channel is just making me want to go and experience every single one of them. <laughs> I'm watching this, I'm like, how? There's like people on the other side of the planet doing this kind of thing. Just, just crazy. When the cars come back after a run, they pull into the pit. First thing we do is disassemble the car. It's disassembled within three minutes. Supercharged manifold, cylinder heads, pistons, clutch, drive line. And that's all done within the first three minutes of coming back to the pit. Rebuilding the car in 30 minutes. I mean, we start the car up typically in 29 Again, minutes after it comes back to the pit. That's mental. After a full service, tearing the engine completely apart, clutches out, you rebuild it, put new parts on, start it up in 30 minutes. You know, it's it's crazy. What? They work extremely hard. They're covered in dirt, grease, head to toe, oil. I mean, they're they're covered um, in between every single round, and they put their blood, sweat, and tears um, in this race car. And we go out there, and there's a lot of pressure, I think, on all of us. There's a lot of pressure on me 
because I have four seconds to, to do the best job that I can to keep this car yeah, in the center of that groove. Yeah, that's mental. Um, you have, have to great reaction do time and to the best the job in it, only um, four seconds. The work that they put into it. Whether it's mechanics or the driver, I'm not sure how would, you would split that. Probably 50-50. I don't know. It's, yeah, with it's this kind of say. thing, I was going to say with this kind of thing, but I feel like that it's the same with all motorsport because the driver can't drive the car unless the mechanics the have worked on family. So. Courtney Force getting her first win. Another force in the winner circle, and mom and dad are happy as well they should be. I grew up around the sport. Ever since I was wow. a kid, I was out here uh, watching my dad compete in the funny car category. I used to come out to the racetrack as a kid with my sisters just to watch my dad. That's how we'd hang out with dad. He'd pack up and go on the road, and uh, we'd follow him to racetracks and these racetracks kind of That's became iconic, second though. homes to us. Everyone out here, teams, crew guys, crew chiefs kind of became family to us. So I fell in love with the sport at a young age. I think my dad was a little surprised that um, any of his kids had an interest in, in the sport, um, but I think he was happy about it. He always said he wanted boys. He ended up with four daughters, and three of us ended up wow. um, driving professionally. So I think yeah, we surprised I'm him a little bit. Yeah, I'm four girls as well. So. Family. I get to compete against my dad in the funny car category. Uh, my sister Brittany, she uh, just actually don't won the judge top a book by its cover. Season. It's what I've learned. <laughs> if you had asked me 15 years ago if I'd be driving a top fuel car, there's no way I'd absolutely believe it. Um, I I used to think top fuel drivers, funny car drivers, were insane. So it surprises me that I ended up driving one. We just have fun with it. We get to try wow. I love the pink. Places, but we get to work together. As it a looks family, so good. Which is the most important thing. My daughter become the 2017 top fuel world Wow. I'll tell you why, because Brittany Forrest has too much steam. Courtney Forrest saves the day for John Force Racing. The more and more videos I'm watching on NHRA, the more and more mind blown I'm becoming. <laughs> I absolutely love that video. So with that being said, if you have any other videos that you like me to react to, drop them in the comments. I'm working my way through everybody's suggestions at the moment. If you did want to check out any of my other socials, they are all linked down below. And if you wanted to become a member on this channel and receive exclusive perks, you can also do that by hitting the join button down below. But I hope you enjoyed today's reaction and I will catch you next time for the next one. Bye.